I coded a bot that makes YouTube videos. Have you ever seen these posts where an AI voice reads text over a random background? They are everywhere and get millions of views. The videos are low effort, but still take time to create. This got me thinking, can I automate the entire process of making these posts and replicate their success? After spending a month building the bot, I uploaded videos to a new channel and here's how it all went. So, there are three key parts we need to figure out in order to generate the short. The script, the audio, and the background clips. We start with some text, for example, a Reddit post, which we feed into an LLM to generate a script. From there, we convert the script to speech, combine the audio with background clips, and the short is ready. That explanation made things seem straightforward enough, didn't it? Hmm. Well, let's see how it actually goes. Not too long ago, I built an AI podcast creator that focused on script and audio generation. So I have some experience in those first two steps we talked about. Welcome to working with LLMs 101. Today's class is on prompt engineering. Essentially, what we're doing is gaslighting the model. Just like parents living vicariously through their children, we tell the model that it is something until it acts accordingly. You need to be very explicit in your instructions, basically treating the LLM like it's an idiot. It also helps to include an example of what the input will look like and what you expect the output to be. I usually include my prompt in a prompt that I use to prompt ChatGPT to assist me in improving my prompt. Once that's done, we pass in the prompt along with our text to an API call that we send to OpenAI and we get back a script. My tool of choice for text to speech is 11 labs since it has the best sounding voices. But hey, don't take my word for it. Here's a preview. Just subscribe. You've made it this far. What are you waiting for? So did you, did you do it? Did you subscribe? All right, all right, I won't ask. Once we have the script, we pass it over to 11 labs and get back the audio. After some research, I figured out how to combine the audio with a video using FFmpeg. Now, don't, don't ask what any of this means, okay? Just believe that it works. Now, all that's left are the subtitles and some background music to set the mood. Subtitles are stored in SRT files, which are plain text files containing each spoken segment. So when you're watching your favorite show on Netflix, you can turn the subtitles on and off, which means they aren't a part of the video. They are stored somewhere else. And Netflix knows which words to display at any given moment because the SRT file contains information about when each word was spoken. So we need to figure out how to generate an SRT file. At first, I thought we could just use our script, but that won't work because it doesn't give us any information about when the words are spoken. The only place to get this information is from the audio. By transcribing the audio, we get the timestamp for each spoken word which we then use to create the SRT file. And unlike Netflix, we want our subtitles to be a permanent part of the video. So we burn them directly into the video. With background music added, our videos are looking pretty good. I made the ultimate mistake. I bragged about winning the lottery. Seven years ago, I hit the jackpot almost $800,000 a year from my annuity and smart investments. I'm pretty happy with what we've got so far, but wait, what's this? FaceTime? I can't right now. I'm out with my mom. Okay, just send a quick picture then. I told you I can't. I'm with my dad. I thought you said you were with your mom. Sorry, babe. I met mom. Text stories. This seems like a relatively new trend and it looks a bit more high effort. Automating these would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Well, I guess that's our next challenge. Text story shorts are essentially fake conversations read out loud by bots, resulting in an entertaining back and forth. They aren't too different from what we've been doing. They still need a script, audio, and background clips. But there's a twist. We now have two speakers and a text interface. So 
I tweaked our prompt from before to generate a script with two speakers. And with that done, now it's time to tackle the text interface. So I built a website where I cloned the iMessage UI. You enter your text and it generates a conversation. So wait, my dad's girlfriend thinks she can mom me now? Like, what is this, a family vacation or daycare? Right? Yesterday, she was explaining Vine like it's ancient history. It's like, I lived through it. I couldn't figure out a way to automatically record the conversation. So for now, I've settled on screen recording the section. If you've got any ideas on how to automate this, let me know in the comments and I'll try them out. All right, since we now have two niches, I created two channels, one for standard shorts and another for text shorts. I uploaded a couple of videos to both channels and here are the results. Both channels got 1000 views in just two days, which isn't changing any lives, but it's still cool to see. And this video in particular did really well. Not bad, considering I spent basically no time at all to get this content. And there's still a lot I could improve. And if you'd like to contribute, the GitHub repo links are in the description. Do you think I should keep these channels running? The content we made here falls directly into the category of brain rot. Admittedly, all I've done here is contribute to the AI slop that's flooding the internet. But the reason I built this was to take an otherwise damaging trend and turn it into a learning opportunity. The next few years are going to be very interesting for creative work. We are already seeing how AI is being used to create art. And what is content creation if not a form of art? The amount of brain rot content is only going to increase. But if we're deliberate about the content we consume and only engage with things that enrich us, then we'll be just fine. Subscribe and thank you for your time.